So we come back to part two. <clears throat> so what we need to do is we have the buttons, right? We have the frames. So let me increase the size of the width to 250. <clears throat> okay. Now we want to add actions when I hit the click me. Again, how do we do that? The button itself by default doesn't have listen there or do not listen to any actions. So the action could be when you click. So in Java, when you click, we gotta use the action listener interface. Okay. So interface right for click event on the button. Alright, so interface again means you need to implement right the methods. Which we just look at on the previous video, right? What is the interface of action listener? So let me show that one more time. And interface is here, action listener, right? So an interface as an abstract means the methods action performed that, that you have in this interface has to be implemented. Okay, because it haven't been implemented yet. So <clears throat> come back to our code. The button has to listen, okay, at this action because by default it didn't listen to anything. So we need to add the action listener. And action action listener, if you look at they need a parameters, which is the action listener which is the interface that we need okay so this is going to be the new action listener interface that I just show you on Java doc now this action listener interface like if it's a class that being implemented then you don't need to worry about implementations of the method right and the method that we just seen is action performed it Right, we talk about this method part of the action listener interface. We need to implement it because it is an interface, not a class. So that's why when you switch back to Eclipse, you see that there's an error here, right? Like it's not like when I do new flow layout, this is a class, it's already implemented, I import the there's no errors. Now you need to implement, okay? <clears throat> so to implement this, we have to pretty much this is just like a class, right? Open curly braces, right? And close curly braces. And of course, you need to add that's to an errors because you didn't add the method to implement. Okay, so we need to add the method which is action perform it, right? So public. Boy. Let's see if you don't know is it boy or not. You can just check from here. Type boy action perform that and parameter is action event. Okay. So <coughs> action event E. <coughs> All right. So now of course you need to import action listener to right. That's a class. That's a class. An interface, right? That you need to import, and you have to import action event because this is also another class that you need to have in. Okay, so if you want to know what's action event, you can click on here. It's a class. Okay, so it's pretty much just going to indicate the component defined action occurred. So we'll come back to this. Okay. So it has the method itself, like you can look at different events that involve in that buttons. So now at this point we're going to focus on getting this to on click first, which we never involve E yet. So we get to learn how to get to E. Involving just to pop up the dialog box, you don't need the E. So now Let's do just simple first to test to print hello. 
before we go involve something else just to test if I click the button it's going to do something there you go see that there you go so that means the action works now like I said this has to be an interface right in the term of the designing part of Java library here because we don't know what the user wants it could be click and say hello on the console or they want to say hello on the dialog box right so that's why it is an abstract interface just like an abstract method here to let the user implement later now let's do the dialog part so if I use J dialog <coughs> dialog equals to new J dialog so I need to instantiate this because I need to get to the method of dialog, right? <coughs> now they have a constructor that takes three things, right? So if you review the constructor again, so the owner, the owner mean who is going to be on when I pop up, who is going to be. Right, I'm going to be on the top of which frame, right? And title, right? The title of dialogs, like the headers, title, right? The title bar, like that. So, and um, make it modal or not, right? Modal means it's going to be stay until you click close dialog, then you can do anything else. If it's not modal, then that means you can move around dialog, you can do anything else. So, we are test that. So let's switch back. So first is the frame, right? That's gonna be the parent, right? It's gonna pop up on the top of the frame and the title say welcome. So and if I set it to modal to true, right? Okay, so if I just do the dialog now, the dialog itself I have to set it to be visible, so that's why I need to instantiate it. Because the default is not going to be visible, right? <coughs> now I need to set the size, right, and set the text, but it did pop up now, right? So let's work on this a little bit more dialog dot set the same just like frame right you can do either with and hide directly or dimensions so this time I'm going to show you the stand okay and that means the dialog so you can even add more panels and more component inside too right so you can do the set location relative to frame then it's not going to be on the top like that it depends on the frame too actually where your same frame is if frame is at the top then that's going to be at the top we can change the location of the frame but let's test that first by I want this to run okay Right, because the screen full full screen is like, like that, right? That's one way to set full screen. Easy way by look at your setup configurations. But if you change configuration, it's gonna be different size again. So we have the way that we can actually read system configuration and dynamically update itself too. But this is just one easy way. You see, model to center because you set relative to, right? That pop up has the title. See, I cannot, I cannot do anything. If I click, I cannot click that button anymore, right? Because modal. Until I do that, then I can click. See that? Yes. Like if I add some J text. J text box text box equals to new J text. I think text box is B 
be our oh, text field. Import the text field and I'm going to set the size to 100. This is the width size of text field. Just like this is the text field. See that? I just make it. Now I'm going to add that to my panel. And panel is flow layout. So if I want it to be before the buttons, so I need to add before the button. If I add after, it's going to be right after the button, right? So this is a what? Text. Uh, name text box. Okay. <clears throat> now we approve the if I don't want to use model to faults. You guys have seen the one that model. That's why I want to add the text field to test. That's hundred text field on the top. I can actually type something, right? It seem like it's hmm, it seems like it's too long, huh? <coughs> okay. So I can type something, right? So what is this is not modal. That mean see that? I can still do everything else. It's not modal. Right? Now I'm going to change it to modal to true. And let's look at this program after I change. I cannot. <laughs> See, it's just keep blinking now, right? It's modal until I hit close, then I can type. Okay, that's modal. Okay, so. Like I said, if you want to add something on the dialogs, you can do just like the same way, like another frame, right? If you want to add another text on, you can just create a text to add. Uh, you can use JLabel. Label is the text. Label equals to new. JLabel. And say hello. Okay, then you need to import JLabel and add to the dialog, right? Add the label. Now that's how you pretty much create a windows that can have another windows inside another windows, right? That you can open several other windows by using the J dialog. Hello, right? You can even add another whole components of the frame in here. Everything can go there, right? Like the button to close the dialog and listen to it, right? Or just use this one. And then you get to the main application page. All right, so.